House training your puppy is all about remaining consistent and having a routine that you and your puppy can rely on in order to predict their bathroom needs. So we're here with Nyla, and basically I'm going to use this time while we're waiting for her to go to the bathroom to teach you guys all you need to know about potty training. So the key thing when you're outside with your puppy waiting for them to go to the bathroom, we don't want to engage them. We don't want to play with them. We don't want to talk to them. And we want to go to the same location every time to build that routine and consistency for our puppies. Puppies also have something referred to as substrate preference. This means whatever we've taught them to go to the bathroom on, like what is underneath their feet as they're going to the bathroom, is going to be what they associate with that thing. So that's why it's really important that the area that your puppy goes to the bathroom remains consistent. If our puppy is trained on wee-wee pads or something similar inside the home, Getting them to go to the bathroom outside on grass is going to be a completely new learning experience for them and we need to reteach them. So when you're first training your puppy, imagine where you want them to go to the bathroom as a dog so you don't need to do the whole house training process twice because of a substrate preference. Also keep in mind that puppies do not generalize this behavior. So this means if you go to a new location or somebody else's house, you're going to have to teach your puppy where to go to the bathroom at that location as well. Eventually over time, your puppy will associate grass, for example, as the appropriate place to eliminate on. Watch for subtle signs inside the home that your puppy is alerting you that they need to go outside to use the bathroom. By reinforcing these behaviors by letting your puppy go outside will eventually turn into a tell in the future to let you know that your puppy needs to go. In order to successfully house train your puppy, you want to prevent accidents from occurring to begin with. So when your puppy is not in their confinement area, make sure that they are supervised at all times. This way you can see if your puppy is having an accident in the house and address it as it's happening. You cannot inform or communicate with your puppy about what they did after the fact. So if you happen to find that your puppy went to the bathroom somewhere in your house when you weren't watching, clean it up and make sure that you supervise your puppy better in the future. Make sure that you take your puppy to the bathroom area on leash. This keeps your puppy in the vicinity and you're able to control their movements. You want to ultimately keep your puppy in their bathroom area until they go to the bathroom. That way you can supervise the fact that they went to the bathroom and you can also reward them for going to the bathroom in the right area. So bring some treats with you and make sure that when your puppy goes to the bathroom, you reward them for doing so. You want to also use an input output log and this is allowing you to track your puppy's bathroom habits so you can anticipate when they need to go. This will help both of you guys be more successful if you know around the time that your dog needs to go to the bathroom. We want to make sure that we keep our puppies also on a regular feeding schedule because what goes in must come out. Allowing your puppy to free feed or graze on their meals will create inconsistent bathroom needs and ultimately more accidents. As a general rule of thumb, puppies can hold their bladder and bowels approximately for one hour for every month of their age. So take that into consideration with the expectations that you have for your puppy holding their bathroom needs. Your puppy will also generally need to use the bathroom after they drink, after they eat, after they play, or after waking up from napping or sleeping. Make sure to take your puppy out after any of these activities to avoid any sort of accidents that will occur in the home. If your puppy ends up having an accident in your home, don't punish them harshly. Simply interrupt the behavior and take them to the correct location that they should be going. Bathroom accidents are simply a part of owning a puppy, so we just need to teach them where they need to go. Thoroughly clean any area that your puppy may have had an accident on and that will prevent them from using that location in the future because of the smell. So as you can tell, teaching your dog where they need to go to the bathroom is just another aspect of the learning that takes place when you get a puppy. So remember, stay patient, stay consistent, keep a routine, and your puppy will be potty trained in no time.
So during this whole time, we've been waiting for Nyla to go to the bathroom, and that's the key. Just remain patient. We've been ignoring her and just simply waiting for her to go to the bathroom. This keeps Nyla on task and focused on what she needs to do. We've been with Nyla now for about six minutes, just waiting for her to go to the bathroom. And that's what's important, to just wait your puppy out. If for some reason your puppy doesn't go to the bathroom, but you know that they need to, you would simply return your puppy back to their confinement area and then take them back out about 10 to 15 minutes later and try again. When Nyla finally goes to the bathroom, we can say whatever word we want to associate with this behavior and reward with a food treat. And so now in the future, you can cue your puppy to go to the bathroom when you're outside by repeating the word that you decide to use.